For chlamydia, men and women may be asymptomatic, which means that they might not have symptoms. It's more likely for women not to have symptoms with chlamydia than it is for men. However, it's possible for neither to have symptoms. So what you're looking for with symptoms is some sort of discharge, and that discharge will be through the urethra, through the tip of the penis, or vaginal discharge. You might also find a burning on urination or a discomfort with vaginal or finger penetration. Those are the kinds of things that you're looking for with chlamydia. Chlamydia can actually also infect your throat, so sometimes if someone has a sore throat and they've had oral sex without a barrier and someone has ejaculated into their mouth or they've been exchange of fluids in the mouth, that could also be chlamydia. Your medical provider can detect chlamydia either in your throat or in the vagina or the anus or in the penis by um, a urine test for the vagina and the penis and or a swab test. The swab test definitely for your throat. One important thing to note is that although chlamydia is completely curable with antibiotics, if left untreated, it can lead to infertility in both men and women. Often people who are infected with chlamydia are co-infected with gonorrhea, so they may also test and treat for that at the same time.